In this lecture, I'm going to deal with the anatomy of the liver, the gallbladder, and the bile duct system. Very important topic indeed. Now, the liver is the largest solid organ in the body. When I say the largest solid organ, that's because I'm told that if you skin the subject and wrap all the skin up, that becomes the largest organ. But you see what I mean when I say the liver is the largest solid organ. Now first, let's talk about the surface anatomy of the liver, how you mark the liver out on the abdominal and chest wall of a normal subject, and then the clinical examination of the liver. Now if we go to the skeleton, to mark out the surface anatomy of the liver, we go to the costal margin on the right side, which of course is the 10th rib in the mid-axillary line. Now how do we find the 10th rib? It's the lowest rib that you can feel, because as you know, the 12th rib and the 11th rib, the floating ribs, are short and don't come round into the mid-axillary line. So there's the 10th rib. Make a mark on it. We then go up to the 5th intercostal space in the mid-axillary line on the right side. How do we find the 5th space? We can do two things. We can go to the angle of Louis at the junction of the manubrium and the sternum, second costal cartilage, and we can count down from there. Two, three, four, five. There's the fifth intercostal space. Of course, we can count up from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, fifth intercostal space. Make a mark there. We then go over to the fifth intercostal space on the left side in the mid-clavicular line. We go to the clavicle, we bisect it, we drop a line down to the fifth intercostal space, which again we can count down from the angle of Louis, two, three, four, five, or count up from the costal margin there. Mostly, of course, the common practice is to count down from the angle of Louis. So we've now got one, two, three markers. We join those together in a triangle, and that very accurately gives you the outline of the liver on the normal subject. You can do that on yourself, you can do it on a patient, you can do it on a colleague. 